my people of God, I greet everyone in the name of the Lord. This is another section and today we are going to be talking about the church must arise. You and I make up the church. I am not talking about the physical building, but I'm talking about you and I. This is a time for you and I to arise in prayer. It is a time for you and I to arise and intercede on behalf of our churches in this present age. The devil is trying so hard to still gas people from the church. Today you go to a lot of churches and you cannot even find the presence of God. You go to many of these churches and you cannot even find the Holy Spirit. Many of our churches are full of sin. Many of our churches are full of immorality, gossiping, backbiting, and all kinds of evil. Instead of our churches being a place of redemption, a place of deliverance, a place of revival for the lost soul. Today, many of these churches cannot even boast of holiness. A lot of people are going through so much pain. A lot of people are going through so many struggles that they want to run back to church so we could save them. But when they look at our lives, some of us that call ourselves as Christians, when they look at the lives that we are living, it discourages them. And so how are we going to save these people? We are supposed to be the witnesses of God. The people in the world are supposed to look at us and feel his presence. Those in the world are supposed to look at us and feel the glory of God. But today, what do we find? You go to many of these churches and we cannot even boast of holiness. And so in this present age, it is the time for you and I to arise in prayer. It is the time for you and I to arise and intercede for one another. For the devil is in to steal God's people. The devil is in to make sure that God's people lose on their faith. But if we call ourselves as the witnesses of God, then this is a time for revival. It is a time to rise in one accord and fight back. Let me ask you this question. If the devil brings distraction to your home, if the devil brings a lot of calamities to your home, can you arise and rebuke this devil? Are you sure your faith and your belief in God is enough to fight back? I know the devil is trying so hard to steal our faith. But if we call ourselves as, as witnesses of God, this is the time that we need to rise in prayer. This is the time that this generation is revival. Our generation is revival. Our generation, our churches needs the presence of God back. And so it is the time for us to ask for God's mercies back into our churches. It is the time for you and I to intercede fervently for our churches, that the presence of God comes back, that our faith be revived, 
that those in the world, those who are trying so hard to come back to churches will look at us and see the presence of God, will see the holiness of God in our lives. I know many of us have lost hope in our churches because of so many evil in our churches today. But I pray in the name of Jesus, may God look down upon each and every one of us with his mercy. May he breathe his Holy Spirit back into our churches, for we need God. This present generation needs more of God. We need revival. We need deliverance in our churches. And so I pray for you. I pray with you in the name of Jesus. Whatever that has stolen your joy and your faith, that you are finding it very difficult to live that Christ-like life, I pray that the Lord have mercy on upon us. May the Holy Spirit breathe his breath upon us. May he grant us the grace to live a life of righteousness. May he grant us the grace of repentance and salvation. That our sins will always be before us. In the name of Jesus, I pray and I leave the presence of God with you. Whatever that is troubling you, whatever that you are going through, I pray that the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord give us the strength in this present age that you and I would arise in prayer, that you and I would arise and intercede for this present church, for the church needs us. I pray in the name of Jesus and I leave the peace of the Lord with you. Wherever you are, may the mercy of the Lord speak for you today. May the Holy Spirit revive you in the name of Jesus. May you be blessed in the Lord and know that God is waiting for you and I to rise up. God is waiting for us to be witnesses in this present day. Be blessed in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.